Hello, Grace families, and welcome back. We're so glad you could join us today. Remember that even though we're not together, we can still stay connected. So check us out on our Facebook page. Like and share. Let others know what's going on. On Instagram, make sure you hit that little heart and follow so you can stay up to date on all the things that we are doing. And don't forget to check out the YouTube page. That way you can know what's going on and all the new activities that are going on and are going to happen. Also, let us know what you think. We love to hear from you guys. So, why don't we get ready for the fun that's about to begin. so glad you could join me today. I'm Miss Dolly. We're going to have such an amazing time today. We are having the greatest time learning about how different people in the Bible put their full faith in God because they knew that God's got it. No matter what situation they were in, and even though they were afraid, they had full faith that God would see them through the situation that they were in. So today we are on week three, and I am so excited and can't wait for Ollie and his friends from their treehouse to tell us who we're going to learn about today. This month we're learning that no matter what or no matter how bad it gets, we can sing in the rain. Because no matter how bad it gets, we know that God's got it. So you guys get ready because we're going to have a blast today. We're going to start out with Ollie and his friends from the treehouse because I am super duper excited to find out what we're going to learn today. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. So, Ali, go ahead and take it away. Ho, ho! You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So, let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ali and his friends. Can you hear me? Are you there? Oh! Hello there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Manny, and I'm happy to see you today. Can you believe it's still raining outside? It's been pouring for days and days now, but that doesn't mean we can't have some fun. Do you know what this is? It's a cup with a string on the end. This string stretches all the way across the yard into my house. My mom has another cup on the other end of the string. We're gonna try to hear each other through the string. Isn't that cool? Let's try it. Hello, Mom, hello. Hmm. Hello, Mom, hello. Hello, Manny. Ho, ho. Talking to your mom, are you? Hi, Ollie. Yeah, I sure am. My mom and I are trying to hear each other through the string. And it really works. We can hear each other. Cup phones are fun. Yes, it's true. But I know someone who always hears you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Okay, this one is for Mrs. Burkholtz. Oh, and this one is for Mr. Jackson. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. It's so good to see you. I'm just getting all of these letters ready for delivery. I love when people send cards like this. Having a great trip, miss you. Love, Gigi and Gramps. It's so great. I love all of the different ways that we have to talk to each other. In fact, today's story is about how we can talk to God. 
Are you ready to hear it? I said, are you ready to hear it? <laughs> Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. So our true story from the Bible begins in a desert. Have you ever been to a desert? Some are sandy and hot, like really, really hot. Let's all pretend we're in a desert. Oh, oh man, it's so hot out here. Look at that sun. It must be 100 degrees. I'm sweating. Are you sweating? Let's fan ourselves. Whew. The desert is hot. Well, in today's story, in a hot desert, there was a mother named Hagar and her son. They look so tired, don't they? And hot. Now tell me, what do people need when they are hot and tired? Let's see if you can guess. Do they need a warm coat? Roller skates? Or a drink of water? A drink of water, that's right. Hagar and her son needed water, but they were out of water. Hagar didn't know what to do. They had no water to drink and couldn't walk any farther. Hagar's son started crying, and then <laughs> Hagar started crying too. Everyone, let's cry with them. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Okay, we can stop. Great job. They were all alone in the desert and thirsty and hot. They thought no one could hear them crying. Except, tell me, who always hears us? God, that's right, God can always hear us. Just then, an angel spoke to Hagar from above. Everyone say, whoa, whoa. The angel told Hagar to not be afraid, that God heard her son's cries and he was showing her where to find water. God loves us so much, doesn't he? He hears us no matter where we are. No matter where we go, God is with us. And we don't have to worry because God's got it. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God heard the boy, and he will hear you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. God heard Hagar and her son and gave them just what they needed. And guess what? God hears us and helps us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! Do you know what the best part is? I don't need a cup phone to talk to God. He's always with me and always hears me, no matter what. Talk to you later, Mom. I'm gonna talk to God. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! when Ali and his friends from the treehouse tell us our story. It's always so much fun. I know Hagar had to have been scared when they were in that desert and they were so thirsty. Whew, have you guys been thirsty before? It always feels so rough. So they were so sad, but God sent an angel to show them the way. So God definitely showed them that God's got it. And I just love that we learned that no matter what, no matter what we're going through, or no matter how thirsty we get, God will definitely be there for us. He'll always have a way for us. 
hope you guys are ready for the next part because we're about to do our Bible verse. And you guys know how we get ready. We're going to stretch our arms, wiggle your fingers, and show me your muscles. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Here we go. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 Great job, guys! I love to know that no matter what and wherever we go, God is with us. Well, it's time for my favorite part. You guys know what Miss Dolly loves to do! Are you guys ready? Get those dancing shoes ready because we're about to do our song. So let's count it down. Three, two, one. Here we go. Sometimes I like to go outside. Sometimes I like to run and hide. But I know all the time, all the time, you are. love it when we worship together. Even though we're not together, we can still worship wherever we are. Or shall we say, wherever we are. I hope you guys have had a blast today because I sure have. Just makes me sad that we have to wait till next time to see each other. But it's okay because we can worship God anywhere. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I can't wait to see you guys on Wednesday. So guys, remember, you are awesome. God created you to do amazing things, and you are loved. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.